name is Arthur. I just celebrated my 10th birthday on vacation at my grandmother's. But things aren't going very well. Davido, an awful heartless developer, wants to kick my grandmother out and take her house and her yard. Tear it all down and build some concrete buildings. He says my grandfather has to sign a new lease and give him a huge amount of money within 48 hours or else it belongs to him. The problem is, my grandfather disappeared without a trace four years ago. And my grandmother has no money left. But I'm not going to stay here twiddling my thumbs for 48 hours waiting for that vulture to steal our house. My grandmother told me about these strange little people called Minimoys. They're tiny creatures and my grandfather tried to meet them. She also told me about a treasure that the Bogomatisali warriors gave my grandfather on one of his trips to Africa. My grandfather hid the treasure in the yard, but he hid it so well that he could never find it again. Well, I'm going to find the treasure. That way I'll be able to pay Davido and we'll be able to keep our house and yard. My dear Arthur, I was sure I could count on you to find my riddle. If you're reading this, I am probably dead. Therefore, the heavy task of accomplishing my mission now falls to you. If you accept it, that is. I accept, Arthur. We are going to join our brothers, the Minimoys. I know you must feel strange, but don't worry. You'll just need to relearn a few things. Listen carefully. To move around, use the main direction controls. Follow me. You'll see. It's really easy. And you can use the secondary direction controls to control the camera. That's so you can look all around you. Go ahead. Try to follow the two glowing orbs with the camera. Psst. This way, to the right, hurry! Simply press the jump button once. Go ahead, jump. Come on, join me. It's not very high. Good. But do you know how to do a double jump? Whoop, whoop. See that? It's really easy. Just press the jump button twice. Your turn. Very good. Now do one more double jump, but this time make it a running jump. your time before you press the jump button the second time. Try to follow this rhythm. When I say one, jump. When I say two, jump again. Pay attention. Are you ready? One and two. Not bad, but you can do better. Don't forget, take your time to do a double jump over a distance. You'll jump further. Do a third and last double jump. Be very careful. There's a big, very, very deep hole underneath. If you fall in, the adventure will be over. Go ahead, it's your turn. See that door? See that flagstone? Step on the flagstone to open the door. You'll see, Arthur. A flagstone can activate many things. To activate a flagstone correctly, stay on it for a little while. And there you go, the door opens. Follow me, it's this way. Oh, they look like soccer balls. What? Balls? Those aren't balls. They are pollen globes. When you touch them, they begin to shrink. This strange object is a bar with its counterweight. Like the flagstone, it can be used to activate many things. Go ahead, grab the bar and hang on. To open the door just behind it. Stand right under the horizontal bar where there is a white circle drawn on the ground. It's a good mechanism. But since Minimoys don't weigh much, the counterweight takes some time to go up and activate. If you press the action button several times, the counterweight will go up much faster. 
Great job! Don't take this the wrong way, but when you're hanging there, you look a little like a moof moof. <laughs> Come on, it's this way. Arthur, I'm here! No, Arthur, not this way. Go back and walk to the right of the blade of grass. There are two flagstones. I wonder why. Wonder why? <laughs> well, it's to open the door. One isn't enough? Not always. Sometimes even three or four flagstones need to be activated at once to open a door. Sometimes these flagstones are hidden. Then you have to find them all, and that's not easy. Go on, stand on one of the two flagstones, and I'll stand on the other. There, let's keep going. Oh, more pollen. You can kick the pollen. Great kick. Follow me, it's this way. huge block, you have to push it to be able to go any further. It's easy. Stand in front of the block and keep the action button pressed. Then you just push in a direction, like when you're walking. And since too many moys are stronger than one, I'm gonna help you. Don't forget to keep the action button pressed. Go on, you have to let go. Release the action button. We have to reach the bar up there. Follow me. I'll show you. There are the orange flagstones. They are special. You have to stay on them to keep the door open. There are two flagstones. Together, we can keep the door open. But then, how will we get through the door? I know. Please, go get that block so we can put it on the flagstone in your place. That way you can go through the door and get the other block. Okay. To take hold of the block, stand in front of it and keep the action button pressed. Good! Now go through the door. When you get to the second block up there, push it down below. Now, last step. You must stack the blocks and climb onto them to reach the bar. Did you notice the two marks on this sign? They mean that you have to stack two blocks, one on top of the other, in this spot. Would you please bring a block to the first mark? Now, go get the other block. We'll lift it together on top of this one. over the block means that you can lift it and stack it on top of the other block. To lift it, press the action button several times. Eh. Keep it up, I'm coming to help you. Now all you have to do is climb onto the two blocks. 
Great, Arthur, congratulations! Quick, grab the bar! We've hung around here long enough. Follow me, quick! The council's expecting us! This is an odd symbol. What is it? It's a mini Moy rune. Fantastic! Did you know that only heroes can awaken their power? Hey, why don't you try? Me? Yes! The only human who ever tried to find the runes was your grandfather. Why not try it too? There are 26 runes in all. Every time you find a new rune, you'll get a magic card. There are 26 cards in all to collect. One card for each letter of the alphabet. Uh, what do I do now? Go close to the rune and press the action button. You'll see the twinkling gets brighter. That means the rune is awakened. You awaken the rune and unlock the first card. It's easy to look at the cards that you've unlocked. I'll show you. The menu will appear. Using main direction controls, select extra. It's easy. The word is highlighted when there is something new to look at. Then, again using main direction controls, select mini moy card. And presto, you have access to the card menu. They're all shown as thumbnails right there. All the cards that you've unlocked are highlighted. Right now, there's only one. Use main direction controls to select it. Then press validation. Ta-da! The card turns over. Look! The treasure. As a token of gratitude for his honesty and his noble-mindedness, the Bogomatassili warriors offered Archibald, Arthur's grandfather, a collection of rubies, each bigger and more flawless than the next. Unfortunately, this treasure was lost, and no one has ever been able to find it. Although Arthur secretly set out to find his grandfather, he would also like to find the treasure, which would allow his grandparents to keep their house. But who knows if this treasure is not gone forever? or if it's nothing more than a legend. Come on, Arthur, keep going, it's this way! Arthur, look! A combat training dummy! Do you know how to defend yourself? Go on, show me! Hit it by pressing the action button. Yeah. Wow, what a punch. You can defend yourself just fine. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a save flower. Just go on it to save your game. It's easy. Most of the time, there needs to be three of us to activate one. But it sometimes works with only two, or even just one. But that's unusual. This one works with two. Do you want to try? Go on, you do the honors. I'll be right behind you. Arthur, come here and look. through the telescope, wasn't it? You hurt? Yes! Look at these green bars in the interface. One is missing. Oh, it's nothing. It's just... Can you believe it? We are going to stand before the council for a special audience. You can't go like that. Come, you need to collect some dragonfly eggs. We'll keep them in your egg bag. In my egg bag? Yes, all mini Moys have one. Look, yours is right here. You'll see. There are plenty of dragonfly eggs in our world. When you have collected enough, I'll show you how to get a life point. Come along, there are some dragonfly eggs right there. Look! There 
are a lot more dragonfly eggs over here. Pick them all up. This is it! We're here! And look! Your bag contains enough dragonfly eggs to give you back a life point. I'll explain. When you have enough dragonfly eggs, the recharge button on your bag appears. You can then press this button whenever you want to eat 20 eggs all at once and get back another life point. Go on, try it. Press the recharge button. Very good. You are now in tip-top shape again. And one last thing. You can decide to control who you want, when you want. Simply press the switch button. That way you can play with Arthur, but also with me, Beta Mesh, and soon with my sister Selenia. Uh, the council is expecting us. Hurry! Beta Mesh! Pin Pin! Come over here! There are several bags of dragonfly eggs to be picked up. Arthur, go see! you pick up a bag of eggs, you increase the size of your own bag, and you'll be able to carry four more dragonfly eggs. You cannot get those egg bags right now, but there needs to be three to activate these three flagstones. We'll come back later with my sister, Selenia. So men are gonna come and destroy my house, my garden, my world, and your world. And you. All two and a half millimeters of you. You've come to save us, is that the it? The only way to stop these men is to pay them off. This is why my grandfather came to you three years ago. He was looking for a treasure, and I've come to complete his mission. Close the gate! <gasps> no, you fool! No, it's not feeding time! Not the gap! Not the gap! The Momo Farm! We have to go to the Momo Farm! That's a great idea! There are hundreds of Momos there! By setting them all free, we'll get rid of the terrible mosquito henchmen once and for all! What's a Momo? That's a Momo! The mosquitoes love them! Momos drive them totally crazy! They go completely nuts when they see one! Enough talking! Let's get going! The Momo Farm is this way! Hurry up! Follow me! This way! Run! <laughs> the henchmen are putting up gates in our village! Oh dear! They've come with their cages! They're going to capture us and make us all their slaves! They've locked this enormous gate with three padlocks! You must find the three keys to unlock them! Look at that henchman over there! He has the first key! Everyone with me! This henchman is down. He must be put out of commission for good. Make a double jump by pressing on the jump button twice. And when you're up in the air above the henchman, press the action button to hit him with a round bat. Watch it, Selenia! You're hurt to do your luck!
circle with floating dots. Around your character's icon is a countdown. It shows you how much longer you still have to wait before the lock will open. You can speed things up by pressing in quick succession on the special action button. Keep doing that. That's very good. The first padlock is open! There are still two to open! Hurry up! That henchman over there has the second key! You must not lose sight of him! Mania, you've got the key! Stop moving! It won't do you any good anyway! You must open the second padlock! The third key! The third key! There is only one lock left on the gate! Don't give up now! Go hide! This is much too dangerous! I, the henchmen have gone completely crazy! I, I'm going to hide! Once you've opened the door, take this path to go to the Mall Mall Farm! It's the fastest way! I'll take care of these henchmen! You take care of those ones over there! Careful! You just received a blow and lost one life point! Watch your character's icon at the top right of your screen! But be careful! Only three life points left! If you said you can hit, you might faint! Hit again! Princess Selene is unconscious! She fell onto the ground! We must do something! Quick! Oh, Wait till the first key! Quick! Come to the gate! And press the special action button! to grab onto them. That's good. There was another way to the Momo farm, up there. Arthur, you have to climb. Press on the jump button again to climb up onto the root. Excellent. To let go, press the action button. <laughs> to jump over this hole on your left? Yes! I was sure you'd make it. Hey, what was that? Lost flagstone. And you blew up their lock. Do you see that pontoon? I think if we activate these three flagstones, it will come down to the bottom, and we will be able to climb onto it. And why don't you climb up to join me? We don't know how to. And Selene is afraid of heights. Medimesh, where are the three flagstones? We have to go back. They must be scattered all over. Arthur, while you were climbing earlier, did you see the countdown around your character's icon? It tells you how long you can hang on like that. If it gets to zero, you can no longer hang on, and you'll fall. So, next time, make sure you rest every once in a while. To do this, simply put your feet down on the ground for a few seconds.
Okay, I'll wait here, all right? Use a few dragonfly eggs. Over there! Look! The henchmen have captured some shit some villagers. They're taking them to their horrible cage. Why are they doing this? They need slaves. Well, M needs slaves. That's horrible. M is horrible. And Darkos, too. Darkos? The commander in chief of the henchmen troops, the son of M, the malicious. They're ugly. Perhaps they want to stop us from getting to the Momo phone. They just want to stop everyone from getting away and catch us. There, did you see that? Quick, we have to go toward that light. those red pulsating circles? They mean that something is stuck up ahead. the switch button and help Selenia to clear the way in front of us with round bashes. Do you think that that henchman saw us? I don't know. Let's not hang around. Be careful, Selenia! 
Don't worry about me, Arthur. Just concentrate on hurrying up. If we take too long, who knows? The henchmen might destroy the Momo farm before we get there. Fly eggs, please. I feel weak. Hooray! We made it! Let's get out of here before that mosquito henchman comes back. Mm -hmm. 